All right, man. I hope y'all having an amazing day today. So we're going to get into Dax, Oliver, and then Richmond. North of Richmond, the remix. Now, we did a reaction to the first one. If you want to go check that one out, man, go on the channel, check that one out. But uh, we're going to get into this one, man. Dax, he come with some great remixes, man. He comes with some great remixes. Him, now, this wasn't a remix, but him, Tom, and I think Adam did a song not too long ago. I think it was like a week ago. And now he's already um, about to drop another gym. Man's putting in major work, man. Shout out to Dax, man. Shout out to Dax. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and get into this song and see what Dax is going to bring to the table. He's going to bring more of a, I, I kind of expect more of a, like, rap message with this. So now you're going to blend the country with the rap. And so let's see exactly what we're going to get right here. Let's see what we got. All right, Dax, united we stand, divided we fall. That's true. That's true. Let's get it. It's to a it. damn yeah. shame what the world's gotten to right. for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world. Y'all already can tell because it's a little bit more. The tempo's a little changed. It's a little faster. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. living okay. in the new. Accepted. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer. I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got common sense. <laughs> hey, okay. I think that's an interesting point right there. And the thing about it, though, I, I've always said I feel like political topics political things it's all one circle so each side can argue with each other and listen to themselves talk you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it, it'll be interesting if you did not have a left or right if you didn't have any side up down that's why i say up down left right it's all one circle to me I, I don't like to get into it like that but i just want if you didn't have all that and you ask somebody what they thought about something what would they say without knowing somebody else's take on whatever it is you're talking about. I feel like it'll be completely different, but because you only hear like one side of the spectrum and you're, and it's not like you, sometimes you don't hear the other side, you refuse to listen to the other side of the spectrum, no matter what side you're on. Uh, it just, it's just a big mess. It's just a big mess, but eh, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that, man. I, I don't see it changing no time soon, but hey, some people don't have common sense, Dax, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Well, helping to push their lies, so fuck political views. I got common sense. I know God made man. And the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep with the thoughts of 45 years living in debt. 45 years can't pay rent. 45 years just for a pension. I'm too old to enjoy and go spend. 45 years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends. Then I wake up and pray that it ends. Bruh, <laughs> this man Dax. 45 years. Oh, man, I don't know, though. I'm, I will say this, dog. Somebody who 45 years in debt, I don't, they should, ooh, I don't know what they did wrong, but they should have took, they should have took some time to think. Whatever they was doing, whatever they, whatever path they was on to get through 45 years, they, <laughs> they, they should have took another direction. But I, I'm just kind of joking because, you know, I, I'm somebody who's big on finance and stuff like that, saving and doing the right thing, so you won't be in that kind of debt. But in all seriousness, though, somebody can end up in that kind of debt just because of lack of knowledge, not knowing necessarily what they're getting themselves into. So it is a serious thing. It's a serious thing. And working all those years and stuff like that in order to put money back into the men who live up north's pocket while they just sit and, and, and like look down. It's like that old analogy where you have the people at the bottom and you had the rich people stand on top of the hills. You know what I'm saying? So it is an interesting dynamic that I honestly think that if if a lot of people uh begin which i think they are and i say like the way that people are now doing like more research and learning how the system and how different things work i think a lot of people are starting are going to start to be better off like the people who came before us they had to go through different things uh working wise that and they did not necessarily know 
what they were doing. They were taught to work, 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 work. That's all they knew. And so that goes back to my argument of one side. You only know work, work, work. You don't understand. It. And then I know so many people who work like in factories and stuff, man. And they, their bodies are like torched. You know what I'm saying? You need people to do that kind of work. But at the same time, the people who do that kind of work, are they necessarily getting paid what they deserve? Are they necessarily getting the time off that they need? <laughs> you know? And so you work all that time not knowing what you need to do in order to get things right. But I think we're living in a time now. I will say that's one thing. I think that we are getting smarter and people are like starting to put things in the right order so they can retire a little bit earlier. And I say retire put things in place so they can live a better life after um, and retire soon. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. This is a, a long explanation. I'm sorry that it wasn't supposed to be that long, but when you talk about finances and stuff, I get very, very interested. But, you know, let's keep going. doesn't fall far from the tree they're taking god out the schools our kids don't know what to believe from 6 to 18 the curriculum fails and gen z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies that's how they attack us it starts with the oh wait a minute now oh wait a minute now they, they ain't gonna like that oh my god they ain't gonna like that oh my god look i think when i was in school i think we did a prayer like before school started but didn't that like end it at some point we used to do a lot of different things they took out of school. And then I didn't know at the time, I might have been like, I don't know, I might have been like in the second grade. You know what I'm saying? So they just slowly started to take different things out. But it's, it's weird that you can take one thing out and then try to replace it and put other things in. Hmm. Who did that? Who idea was that? Top by their phones with force feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you lie enough, you'll convince anybody the lies, the truth. So telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes. Drive or drink is crazy. Common sense is it common unless it pays me. That's the thought process daily. Look at the content. We're creating lies, diluting our brains. I'm done trying to wait a minute. It ain't gonna like that one either, bro. Ooh, boy, I tell you what. And I, I'm not as like energetic in this video. I'm kind of congested, but I'm still trying to get through with it. Check this out, though. The things that people are starting to push today are crazy. And if you at any point in time not agree with anything that somebody else has to say, you immediately are pictured or depicted as something you know what i'm saying nobody can have an opposite view nowadays but i mean that's why everybody's different you're gonna somebody's not gonna agree with something that you believe in somebody's not gonna agree with something i believe in and i think that's fine but the way that people get upset nowadays when somebody has a different view than somebody is crazy crazy and that's on both sides man don't matter and the upside and the downside because <laughs> it's all one big say it with me guys say it with me one big circle. <laughs> That's the thought process daily. Look at the content. We're creating lies, diluting our brains. I'm done trying to argue online with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change. How many presidents does it take to have a life worth living? An actual comfortable wage. No more school shootings. Let's unite these states. It's a damn shame. United States. <laughs> um, it's interesting though. And, and, and to piggyback on that a little bit, y'all like, crazy stuff is happening all over the world you gotta watch your kids kids aren't safe at school um a lot of times you're not safe walking outside of your home a lot of times you're not safe in your home and uh it's almost it's like it, when you're speaking on that it's like they're trying to take away things that you can use in order to protect yourself and then on top of that it, it's not that there's not good people in the world, but if you take one bad person, the damage that they can do could potentially outweigh all the good that somebody else could do because it doesn't take long to cause destruction as much as it takes to rebuild from the destruction that that one person could cause. 
You know what I'm saying? From like mass shootings to uh, bomb threats and all these other different things in school that makes it unsafe to where we, we are now in a point where it looks like each state is going to have to have somebody armed at the school at all times. It shouldn't even come down to that, but it is, but it is. Welcome to a new world. All right, let's keep going though. Let's keep no going. more school shootings. Let's unite these states. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me and people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. That's, that's, that's came with it. Make some excellent points. I didn't really talk too much about the waste thing. I don't think I did. Well, yeah, I did in the middle. He kind of touched on it a little bit in the middle verse where I was like, a lot of people are getting smarter um, with how they're trying to build their wealth so they can do it in a way in order to not put themselves through all that stuff. But at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean people are getting paid like just the normal average working person. Don't mean they're necessarily getting paid what they deserve i i'm not, i'm not the guy who's going to come with all, up with all the answers but what i can tell you is that um a lot of times people get did dirty and that's usually some of the most hard-working people out there you know what i'm saying i don't want to make this reaction like super long trying to thug it out because i don't anybody who actually like you know so anybody who watched the channel know like i'm a lot more like ah but don't really feel the best today but when i saw that dax came out with this song i was like yeah i gotta i gotta i gotta listen to it and see exactly what he's talking about he makes some excellent points so all i can say is man close remarks man watch your kids man y'all be safe out there and i'll see you in the next video